of course, everyone's like my friend because like they come over at lunch. Meanwhile, they're not my friend, right? They just want to play normal. <laughs> <laughs> in Germany before yeah. this all started? How did that mm -hmm. go? Yeah. Like, fortunately, like, this is probably something I'll be saying towards the end of the story here, but I'll start, like, I'll start out with a bang. Man. I'm glad that, like, after this whole hiatus thing is over or during it, like, I'm glad I went out in a high, right? And I finished, like, wrestling with, like, a high in Germany, you know? So, but right. it was, it was awesome, man. It was really, really cool, awesome experience, man, to go see, like, see it happen and, and, and see, like, I've always heard of WXW and I've watched videos and whatnot, but to be a part of it, man, Insane. Let's jump right in. You got your top five. Are you going all time with the top five here? Yeah, you know, I, I thought about I thought about it over the last few days. Like, man, there's so many, but like, let me narrow it down. And at least this way, I can kind of just say them out. And you know, I'm sure you'll know some of them. But uh, this is like all time. This is every every console, every every generation, every era. I don't know if you remember SmackDown. Shut your shut your mouth. That game was freaking crazy, man. I remember all, up all night, man, with my my cousins right. and. And my friends went not playing this game, dude. Like he's creating wrestlers. There's so many like guides to create them. And this is before you could download guides. So you literally have to enter every last axis of the face and like you know the color <laughs> and stuff like that. So but I had like two memory cards full of guides, you know what I mean? Wow. It was just like crazy. And there was like 40, 40 creative wrestlers per I think it was thirty two per per memory card. And just like to have that and have all like the um they have this thing called uh action replay and code breaker for and they're essentially like game genies for PlayStation two, right? So you can <laughs> add extra codes in to get like unlimited tables and and ladders and then you know ways to uh, get the ladder on top of the fist so you can climb up on the fist climb up on the ladder and do like a swan top off like this absolutely crazy stuff right yeah but the game was good man it was really really cool a little more of like a faster paced smackdown game because those games are they're never as slow as uh like no mercy and revenge stuff like that but i don't know why we have like like these, these like uh creative pay pay-per-views and like these garbage ass like pay-per-views uh, events we'd hold and we do them in real time so sunday night they would happen you know what i mean and they would have to be done by 10 30 or they, we would just turn the tv off <laughs> <laughs> did you ever do the thing where you, people would create guys online and then they would post all of like the different things like face number two hair color 75 85 <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I would, I would literally go to school and print them out on the on the on the uh, library there, and then go home. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It would, like there would be like formulas for all the creative wrestlers, right? So it was yeah, just I like, and I, I don't know how obsessed I was. You know, what I mean, I'd literally just go to school and then just print off like the creative wrestler, come home and just make them. You know, what I mean, like, like like complete like fat ass Mark and just sit there, and just, <laughs> all, all, you know, like raw, raw would air, SmackDown would air or uh, you know whatever whatever show and pay per view and then I would change the attires right because like oh it changed on Raw right now I'd take my notes during Raw oh Kane had a new color and or RB had different singer right? so I'd go in and edit it the next uh, oh Hogan's wearing a knee brace man let me let me change that knee brace oh, <laughs> yeah yeah that's crazy man it's uh, tough to say to, to talk about this I, I don't think there there may have been other like one or two of the people that ever that like did, did the stuff ever because it never it was nothing normal at all about this you know <laughs> yeah what do you got number four on the list um it's another wrestling game i think like for everybody for every like wrestling every wrestler really, every wrestling fan like i think like they have no mercy like n64 that's definitely one of them for me man hours and hours, i'm sure for you too man all those games right like the, the whole thq aki game we played those games so long with so many people before there was any online just multiplayer four controllers right like yeah. It was so awesome. This is the first game that had like the running grapple, right? So it was like that was cool. People used to spam the hell out of that, you know? And then, um, but the story, here's the story. So uh, this game, man, I remember it came out uh, and we were all talking about it in the schoolyard. Like that was a, that was a talk, man. For, for like weeks and weeks and weeks, people were talking about WF No Mercy. And the day before, the day before, this random like Japanese shop in uh, Ajax, it's not here, no, no, no longer here anymore, but uh, it had this game released one day before and apparently that's an illegal thing to do you can't release games before the actual street date so anyhow <laughs> i got word of this right so i got word of this and i found like i'm legitimately like i think i had like 60 dollars, right but the rest of it it came to like a hundred dollars here in canada with tax it had to be about 40 dollars worth of change i was searching everywhere man i was like <laughs> 10 cents here under the couch 25 cents in the car right you know the change upstairs all the piggy banks emptied uh mom's purse uh, hunted through that like change or, like change in the vacuum I, like i was looking for it every last source man i went there and here's middle of the story here right so i get there 
I don't have enough. I'm, I'm short by like three dollars, so I gotta oh. I gotta run all the way home, right? And they close at like nine, so it must be like eight twenty. I'm sprinting home, twenty minutes to get home, right? I look for more money, get there with like two minutes left to uh, buy the game, have it a day earlier, just to say I had it to go to school the next day, you know. So oh. I mean, so we can get that no mercy clout, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm stunning everybody with no mercy, right? And of course, everyone's like my friend because like they come over at lunch. Meanwhile, they're not my friend, right? They just want to play no mercy. <laughs> uh, the great debate for me is, I like revenge of all the uh, AKI games. Yeah, you know, a true story, man, Revenge, that game had uh, the button combo, right? So once you get special, you can do the uh, strong grapple A, and then uh, you can do the B for some guys that have like the strikes, and you can do like 10, 10 oh, strikes. Like, yeah, you just, yeah. you just take that and had 10 times to hit your finisher. Absolutely uh, insane, man. <laughs> so good. You, you, yeah, you've yeah, since stolen that for your own moveset, I think. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's true. I sometimes I tell guys, like, man, they go, actually, where'd you come up with that move, man? Well, honestly, man, I, I go through like the move set in, in Revenge and and uh, um, WrestleMania 2000, pretty much like annually, right? I just go to through and see like what what's on there, what hasn't been what hasn't been done or like, what hasn't been seen in so long, and then I'll try to see if I can steal it. And if I suck at that, I'll try to modify it a bit. You know? So you got two wrestling games up front here. What uh, what's number three? The so number three is that this is a 64 game, man. Like I said, there's, there's no real order of importance or you know best or worst or like that, but this is just because I feel the throws in here. But I think. Um, there's a game they came it came on a couple different systems, but NBA Hang Time. You remember a game called NBA Hang Time for Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. That was like uh it was like NBA Jam, right? So it wasn't real or anything like that, but they had all the real guys, right? So there wasn't simulation at all, but it was so arcadey. I think Midway made it. I remember playing hours and hours and hours and hours of this game, man. And people would think like, how come you're not picking Perfect Dark or Golden or uh, Golden Eye or so like those games are great and those, those are afterthoughts to me. I always think of the games that I actually spent time on that I sh I really didn't have to spend the time on, but I I, like, I vividly remember spending hours and hours and hours playing these games, man, and definitely hang time, man. Like, it, And the, the weird thing with that game also is like there was a glitch. I don't think it was a glitch. I think the, the game is programmed that if you got two ahead, like the computer just catch up. I don't know what it's called. Like, I think it's, I forget what it's called now, but they have something, they do it in racing games where you can't get too far ahead because the game just actually adjusts and they, like, before you know what they're on your tail, right, in the racing game. Yeah, so like, if you got on like a four, five, six, six old run or some of that, 10 old run and you're up, the computers come back and be like threes after threes, right? Or they, and it'd be like, like um, Eric Monchas for three, he's dropping threes. Like, how is that possible? <laughs> it would happen, right? But like, it, it got frustrating a lot, man, because you would get to like the fourth quarter and you break out and you'd be getting far, right? And then they'd come back and then they'd either win by one, by like a buzzer beater, or they'll take it to overtime. It's like, this is insane, man. How the heck did I miss everything and these guys won everything? That was a part of like going back there because it was like I always was itching for more to try to beat them even though I couldn't beat the computer sometimes because they would just come back in this like, fluke win like that but I remember playing that game for like so many hours man I loved it I was playing 2k and now they're like you win and there's like you get coins like, here's a card you get a super card I'm like I don't even know what a card is yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know it's always unlockables and you gotta like pay legit real money right it's like I wanna deck my, my, my character out with like like some uh, clothes and stuff like that. I gotta, I gotta buy this guy's track pants. I gotta buy this guy's shirt. I gotta buy. It's like my goodness, man. This coming out of my debit account. <laughs> 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 well, that was three. Now, what, what we got? Number two. Two. Um, I would say this is a classic, man. And I'm not really a big fan of these type of games all the time. But like, I used to watch this game. My brother used to play it all the time. A Resident Evil One for PlayStation, PlayStation One. Oh, Rip. really? One, yeah, man, and you know it really isn't. It was. It really wasn't. Um, and still isn't. They have so many re-releases. Actually, was thinking about buying it again for the uh, the Switch the remastered version. Resident Evil One, though, it's not as much as a kind of run and gun game as people think it is. It's more so like a, a puzzle type game, right? So you're, you're doing a lot of like survival type stuff where you're you're um, like bare minimums of ammo. You're running around to solve puzzles. But I remember playing that game for hours and hours and hours. And I used to spent so much time on like and this is before like strategy guides right there's no like you know what i mean like 96 97 see what do you have like for me at least i have like dial up you know what i mean so i don't really and as a kid i'm not looking to you know what i mean go to game faqs and you know well, what do i do here <laughs> like play the game and try to figure it out right and so this i remember playing that game for hours hours and hours playing this game and you know what we, here's another story man here's another story uh, about that game there we never actually owned it uh, like we didn't have any money to buy this game so we would rent it take it back rent it right oh, and then when blockbuster when yeah when blockbuster introduced that like you know um no no fees i got we just kept it for like th for like 30 days you know what I mean? <laughs> so, just like we just kept playing and renting and playing right because like it was twin pickings man if you went to blockbuster on a friday night forget about it bro you're not you're not getting anything you know what I mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, PlayStation, and we had a, a, a like a first gen PlayStation. It was so me- like messed up. You know, I mean, you have to turn it on its side for it to play. You have to turn it upside down. So you go through with some of the loading screens sometimes, and you have to find the typewriter to save the game, right? So you go through some of these loading screens, and for Resident Evil fans, they know that for Resident Evil One at least, you would open the door, right? It would show a close up of the door opening, right? That was a loading screen. But sometimes the game would like glitch or would freeze because of the system I had. So the door would open, and it would just stay black. You know what I mean? So you're like, oh, what the freak, man. But sometimes it would load, right? So the door would the door would be closed and it would open and it would be like delayed. I guess because the, the the laser lens is reading the, the CD, and then all of a sudden there'd be like a jump scare, like 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 30 seconds later. But like this is insane. <laughs> so like that game was so freaking cool, man. Uh, that's I was thinking about buying the one for the Switch, man, just to kind of relive it. But definitely Resident Evil One. I don't know why. I guess that was like my first one, and we all used to like you turn off the lights and play it, right? So you turn off the lights and play it, and that's when we had this like this old shitty TV, like the box TVs, you know, like ninety ninety seven, the Rogers box, you know. What I mean? So you'd be setting that up, you'd be playing that, you know, change it over to to um, TV cable, set set the the station up there, and you play off off the of PS one, right? And man, just bare minimums, right? But like it was so much fun. It's just some of those shoddy didn't even work half the time, but you still like got through the game, and you know it's. If the system was on the ground and like it got too hot, it would just freeze. Like oh, this is a PlayStation right. talking, about, right? So it's like so many obstacles, but we still just kept playing. And this is supposed to show you what we did in the weekends and the summers and stuff like that. Like absolutely nothing, just freaking literally like basketball and, and video games. That's all yeah. it was. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, that's that Resident Evil definitely, man. That's for one that for sure that I uh, I put up there. So we got we got one game left on your list. What uh, what yeah. is the final one here? Every every kid that experienced elementary school in the mid '90s. Would have to say that Pokemon was big, man. I remember I went to my cousin's house and he had it, right? And I was like, oh my, I have to have it. So, I, you know, classic. I may have been, geez, maybe 10 years old, 11 years old. Maybe a little younger, maybe maybe nine, right? And I was like, I need this game, right? So, after this, it was like that episode in The Simpsons, right? You know what I mean? You know, the the, the, the episode where the kids just come all, all, all day just talking to Homer, right? You know, I think I forgot to say, like, you know, can we do the Mass Mount Splash more? Can you take the Mount Splash more? And he's just like, no, no. <laughs> now, after a while, she caved, right? You know what I mean? So she got me a Game Boy Color yellow, right? And she remembers this to this day and Pokemon Red, dude. Absolutely crazy to play that game, dude. And that was, I fit in now. I can bring this thing to school. We play on recess. Man, hours and hours and hours. And then you had the link cable, right? And you could trade Pokemon. And you can, and hustling kids at, uh, at um, recess, you know, you'd try to get through Pokemon. <laughs> it was like a virtual marbles, right? So you beat them, right? So you beat their ass, you take you take the Pokemon and it's theirs, right? And then you get their mom mad, like, give me the Pokemon back. It's like, well, hold on a second, this is in my game now, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was, it was crazy, man. You had the link cable, you could trade them, and then you had, this is another one, you had the Game Shark, right? So you were turning up a gear, right? We're shifting into fifth gear here, man. So you take the Game Shark, you put it in, and you can change the color of the Pokemon. And that alone is crazy, right? You know I mean? And you don't even really, really do anything. You just want to show it off. But Pokemon, definitely, man. That, that's that's like hours and hours and hours and hours. Hundreds of hours playing Pokemon. Did you hear the news? WW2K is it's not happening this year. Dude, did you did you play it? Because that, that game's horrible, man. It's absolutely horrible. <laughs> I skipped it, but I, I thought like for sure you'd get like the Boneyard match next year. I would have bought it for that. Yeah, you know, man, I just, I've read so many bad reviews on it. I just first time in I think ever like since the beginning of these games since like SmackDown One, dude. Like I just I didn't buy the the, the yearly uh, game, man. Just I couldn't right. do it, man. Just, you know, I could not. I could, listen, man, I've wasted a hundred dollars on far worse, but like I just could not bring myself to buy this game. You know? <laughs> Legitimately with these games, you could release like a downloadable like content pack or something like that every year. Just to right. like charge people like thirty bucks for it and people would buy it, man. And it's literally an add on. You could have characters, attires, like Yeah, if they did like a Fortnite yeah. model where they just kind of updated stuff all the time. Dude, I, I swear, like I don't I don't have I have I don't have Fortnite for anything else but my Nintendo Switch and I, every time I turn my switch on, it's literally doing an update. They, they must be like a hundred deep right now, man. It's insane how many updates they do. <laughs> 290 pounds. The 